now let us discuss about the next chapter data acquisition systems and data conversion let us first study data acquisition systems and then later on we will move on to data conversion so let us see what do you mean by data acquisition system and its introduction so let us see how a data acquisition system can be defined so in case of a, a sensor and transducer sensor transducer combination so sensor it detects the physical quantity which is to be measured and transducer it converts that physical quantity into an electrical signal so generally that electrical signal at the output of transducer is in the form of analog so sometimes that converted analog signal of a transducer needs to be processed or it is required it may be required to convert that analog signal into digital form and that uh, signal may require to be transmitted over a long distance or over a short distance and it may be required to store that signal so a system which performs all these functions is called as data acquisition system so therefore a data acquisition system can be defined as a system used for data processing data conversion data transmission and data storage a typical data acquisition system consists of individual sensors with necessary signal conditioning multiplexing data conversion data processing data handling and associated transmission storage and display systems so here in order to transmit the output signal the output electrical signal of a trans transducer over a long distance so that analog signal must be converted into digital form because in order to transmit a digital signal is more convenient and more efficient rather rather than transmitting an analog signal because the transmission of a digital signal it uh, improves or it 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 reduces the loss of signal quality and also in order to display the signal in digital form so the analog signal must be converted into digital form so therefore this data acquisition system it consists of all these components like signal conditioner so multiplexer where two or more analog or digital signals are combined uh, to form a single signal which is called as multiplexing and uh, the data acquisition system may contain converter that is analog to digital converter and it also consists of display and storage devices so let us see the generalized data acquisition system this is the block diagram of a generalized data acquisition system where we can find an individual sensor transducer combination so where the physical quantity is being converted into analog signal analog electrical signal by transducers individual transducers and then that converted analog signal is conditioned by means of signal conditioner which already we have studied the signal conditioner in in the previous chapter where the signal either it can be amplified or it can be attenuated or it can be filtered then individual signals from the signal conditioners are multiplexed in by by means of analog multiplexer and that multiplexed analog signal is converted into digital form by means of analog to digital converter suppose if we require directly the analog signal to be recorded or to be displayed then we can use that converted analog signal directly or else we can convert it into digital form and then you can utilize that digital signal for digital display or or else for data transmission and other purposes so now as shown in the graph here let us consider a signal from a sensor so let us consider this analog signal from a sensor so now there are two options here 
Firstly, one could record the signal with an analog device such as chart recorder or display it with an oscilloscope. And the second option is the data may be stored by using a microprocessor or computer and this requires a digital signal. So therefore, here the analog signal is divided at discrete instants of time and this process is called as sampling and the resultant signals are called as digitized signals composed of discrete values corresponding to each sample. So this discrete digitized signal is given to either microprocessor or computer for the purpose of processing or storing. Now let us see objectives and configuration of data acquisition systems. So let us see first about objectives of data acquisition system. The objectives of uh, data acquisition system are summarized into these eight objectives. The first one to be reliable, flexible and capable of being expanded for future requirements. Second one to acquire the necessary data at correct speed and at correct time. Third one downtime not be more than 0.1%. Fourth one to be able to compute unit performance indices using online real time data. Fifth one to maintain online optimum and safe operations it must monitor the complete plant operation. Sixth one to make use of all data efficiently to inform the operator about the state of the plant. Then seventh one to be able to collect summarize and store data for diagnosis of operation and the record purpose. And the last one is to provide an effective human communication systems and be able to identify problem areas thereby minimizing unit availability and maximizing unit through point at minimum cost. Now let us see configuration of data acquisition system. So the important factors that decide the configuration of data acquisition system are first one the number of channels to be monitored. So in case of data acquisition system there may be a single channel data acquisition system or multi channel data acquisition system. So as we have seen in the previous case as we have discussed the in the block diagram of uh, uh, general data acquisition system there are a number of uh, sensor transducer combinations and for each individual sensor transducer there is an individual signal conditioner stage and after that there is a multiplexing stage and after signal multiplexing there is a conversion stage where analog signal is converted into digital con digital signal by means of analog to digital converter. So therefore here the number of channels present in the data, data acquisition system is very important factor before deciding the configuration of data acquisition system. Then sampling rate per channel. So in case of the analog to digital converter analog signal is sampled into discrete signals and then it is converted into digital form as we have discussed in the previous chapter. So therefore the sampling rate per channel is very important. Then signal conditioning requirement of each channel. So each channel requires signal conditioning stage and this also decides the configuration of data acquisition system. Then resolution and accuracy and the last one cost. Now based on the factors which we have discussed there are few general configurations of data acquisition system. They are first one single channel possibilities. It is not signal it is single channel possibility or single channel data acquisition system. Then second one multi channel data acquisition system and third one noise reduction data acquisition system. So again 
in case of single channel data acquisition system there are five types the first type is of direct conversion that means here the converted the analog signal the analog output signal of a transducer is directly converted into digital form by means of analog to digital converter so here only a to d converter is present then second one pre amplification pre amplification and direct conversion so here there is a, a signal conditioner stage present in this and after signal conditioner there is analog to digital conversion stage so in case of signal conditioner stage the analog signal is amplified by means of an amplifier and, and after that the amplified analog signal is converted into digital form by means of a to d converter then third one sample and hold and conversion so there is another stage added here which is called as sample and hold circuit or sample and hold stage so here in this stage the analog signal is sampled into discrete signals and it is held for a constant time at this stage it is held at a constant constant time and these signals are converted into digital form by means of a to d converter then fourth one pre amplification sample and hold and conversion so here signal conditioner is present sample and hold circuit is present and analog to digital converter is present then fifth one pre amplification signal conditioning and any of the above so there is a pre amplification stage signal conditioning stage and any of the any of these four stages then second one multi channel data acquisition systems so here multiplexing in case of multi channel data acquisition system there is a, another important stage present here which is called as multiplexing signal multiplexing stage where multiple signals are are included multiple signals are mixed to form a single signal so here again the first one is multiplexing the outputs of single channel converters multiplexing the outputs of sample and hold circuits multiplexing the inputs of sample and hold circuits multiplexing low level data then third one noise reduction data acquisition system where there are two types filtering integrating converters and digital processing 